Thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. You're seeing a gun in my hands you probably didn't think you'd see on the channel, a German G36. It's not quite a German G36, this is a Tommy built T36, American receiver, parts bit built kit of a German G36. Functionally, it's essentially identical to a German G36. There are some differences. You may have already seen this gun on Nine Hole Drill, another excellent YouTube channel, this exact same rifle. They went through it, they did the history, they did range testing, all sorts of stuff. You should watch that video, I'll link to it at the end. This is loaned to us by a very brave viewer and supporter named Steven who wanted to see what would happen with a G36 in the in-range mud test. And that's what we're here to do today. One thing I will say about this gun, it is 90% polymer or plastic. There are very few metal parts. Barrel, trunnion, bolt carrier, and bolt. Man, the rest of this thing is plastic. Something you've heard about already. So what I'm gonna do is prove that the gun works by firing five rounds. Not a problem at all. I'm gonna bring it down here to our little trough. Not using the wheelbarrow today, we got a trough. This German optic's rare, I'm not gonna get mud on that. But we've got our sloopy, yuki, gross mud mix here. And I wanna say thank you to Steven for doing this because not everyone is willing to do this to such an interesting collectible rifle. As I said, I'm gonna stay away from the optic as much as I can. Not much on this side, but we have to get it. Charging handle, fire control group, Oh God, all right. Yeah, that's typical in-range mud. My one shake, off safe, here we go. Five rounds. No, one round. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like a, well, it went into battery. Let's pull the mag. Mag is clean. Round ejected. All right, let's chamber another round and see what happened. All right, so we have to eject one round. Not bad, that's better than most guns do on the mud test. Let's do our normal, give it one more douse. Yay! All right, here we go. Got through the whole mag, one malfunction. I'm gonna pull this mag out, dump it. I got a clean mag. Let's see if we can keep going. So far, the G36 is proving to be quite a reliable system, even without the dust cover. Chamber around. Yeah, on safe. Here we go. I'm gonna go this side first, just to get a little more Difficulty. Now we're on hard mode. Oh, spent casings in the mud. Nice. Welcome to Arizona. Spent casings in your dirt. Murder hornets coming to kill us. Ooh, really sloopy goopy. Ooh, all right. Didn't really shake, just kind of turned it. Where's the safety? There it is. Let's see what happens. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and say this passed. That first little glitch, I don't know what it was, but we went to essentially through two magazines without any issues whatsoever. For all the flack the G36 gets for being polymer and supposedly melty, if you haven't seen Ian's video about how that's not exactly true, check that out. But really, this gun feels really light and very plasticky, and I can see why people would think it's kind of a toy, quote unquote. But that said, how many guns passed the in-range mud test with flying colors like this one did? Not many. Let me thank Steven once again for loaning us this rare and expensive rifle to do this to. And let me also point out that Nine Hole Drill, you need to see their video about this and I'll link to it again at the video. But thanks again, if you're already a Patreon supporter, thank you because you make it possible to shoot the ammunition and do this kind of stuff to awful, awful stuff to guns that we do. If you're not, please consider it. But you can find, if not, and we understand that you can't, just subscribe to one of our multiple distribution points. You can find them all at inrange.tv. Thanks for watching.